okay, today I'm gonna take you guys with me to Costco because there are things you should be buying at Costco and there are things you should not be buying at Costco. Every time I go to Costco, I get really bad anxiety because I see all these families buying things they should not be buying that are super overpriced. And I just think, oh, the money they could be saving and using towards vacations or other fun things. So today I'm gonna show you guys what you should and shouldn't buy. And I'm also gonna share some tips to make sure that you always get the best price because not everything at Costco is a crazy deal. So let's get started. All right, guys, are you ready to get started? Um, obviously, I could spend probably all day here and go up and down every single aisle and tell you whether it was a deal or not, but this video would end up being over an hour long, and I'm sure you don't wanna watch that. So I'm gonna pick and choose a handful of the best items or most popular items that most families are looking for to give you guys a head start on what you should and shouldn't buy. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss more money-saving videos. All you have to do is click on the little eye in the corner to subscribe, and after you're subscribed, please make sure that you're getting notifications because that way you'll actually know when a new video goes live that'll help you guys save money especially since we're getting close to Christmas season and I don't want you guys to miss out Halloween candy is something that you should buy most of the time at Costco you're looking for 18 cents or less per ounce I know you guys have heard me say this before but you really do need to get out your calculator and do math so this is 15.99 divided by 90 ounces total cost is 17 cents or a little bit under 18 cents per ounce so this is a great price for candy all right guys, let's talk about TVs because we've actually purchased two of our TVs here from Costco during one of their sales. So price check the TVs that they have here, especially when we get closer to Black Friday and the holidays because you really can get some great deals on TVs. Printer ink is one of the things that will vary depending on what printer you have, but typically it's a lot cheaper to get your ink here at Costco in their huge multi-packs. Or if you want to save even more money, you can just bring your cartridges in to get refilled and save even more money. Carter's pajamas are here all of the time for infants and toddlers. Anything under $9 is typically what I'll pay for pajamas for my kids in those sizes. So make sure you come here. You don't have to use the coupon like you do at the actual Carter's store. And they usually have some super cute prints. Costco can also be a really good place to get all the snow gear that you need for you and your kids. Coats are $16.99. Um, snow pants are $14.99. And a lot of these are name brand like London Fog. So this is a really cheap option, especially for kids who grow super fast. Batteries are also a really good thing to buy here. The Kirkland brand, yes, is the Costco brand, but most of the time these store brands are actually made and manufactured by the same people that make the name brand batteries like Duracell or Energizer. So um, this 72 pack of batteries is $18.99. That's a steal, guys. Okay, guys, you cannot forget about the toys. Costco has really great deals on toys. If you're not sure, all you need to do is pull up your phone, do a search on Amazon and see, or use one of the price checking apps that I've talked about before. I'll list them below in the YouTube description. But to give you an idea, this brand new toy from Lion Guard, it's to defend the Pride Lens playset. Amazon has it right now for $21.16 and Costco has it for $14.99. Guys, that is a huge difference in price, and that's gonna be the difference between buying more toys for your kids, or putting that money towards a travel fund, or something else fun for your kids to do. Okay guys, don't believe me, let's try it one more time. These are the Disney toddler dolls. Costco has them for $15.99. This is going to be one of the huge items that a lot of girls will want. $15.99 for these types of dolls is not a lot of money. I'm betting they're $20 or more online, let's check. Yep, these are $24 to $18 to $20 through Amazon. So do you guys see how great of a deal these dolls are? And other toys are through Costco. You guys have to price check these, especially for Christmas gifts. And here's another one to quickly show you guys because I literally cannot get over or show you guys enough how different the deals are. Okay, this is the Nano or the Zip Nano drone. It's $24.99 which is a great deal for a drone. If your kids want a drone, this is a really cheap option. Online, it is 36 bucks. Since it's October, when I'm filming this video, you guys have to know about the costumes at Costco. Costumes are as cheap as $15.99, and these are the Ruby's costumes, which typically go for about $30 online. So, I would get here early if you wanna get costumes for your kids before they're all sold out. I mean, it's October and they already have Christmas stuff out. So, you wanna hurry and get over here and get some of these costumes. They have everything from Disney princesses, to firemen, to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's lots of stuff here, and this is the place to buy really great costumes at a great price without having to deal with coupons 
or discounts or deals or anything like that. All right guys, these kitchen bags from Kirkland, I will not buy any other brand <laughs> because this price is always the best price for trash bags. You get 200 trash bags for $12.99. The price literally cannot be beat by any other brand and these trash bags are awesome. So I just buy these every single time. Okay, since we're moving over to the food section, I have to give you guys a little tip. Bring your weekly ad with you from whatever grocery stores in your area. It's one that you should probably just get in your mailbox. Bring it with you to Costco because if you're not good with remembering prices or price points, having this to help you, especially with produce prices, meat prices, and those types of things, will really open your eyes to how expensive some of those items are that you thought were great deals all along. So I'm gonna show you a few of those deals in the Smith's Weekly ad and the prices here at Costco and how they compare. This apple juice is a great example of not a good deal. Um, they have 228 ounce bottles for $8.29. 64 ounce apple juice goes on sale for $1.67 or less multiple times throughout the year. So you should never be buying apple juice here. Another good example of things I will not buy at Costco is soda. This is one of the things that you will overpay for every single time you come. So these 36 packs are $10.49, which after doing a little math, ends up being $3.49 per 12 pack. Guys, do not spend that much money on a 12 pack. 12 pack should be under $3 for sure. And I typically won't buy 12 pack unless it's $2.75 or less. So, sorry, don't buy soda here. You'll waste your money. <laughs> One thing that I do love about Costco is that they will do a price per item or price per ounce. You can quickly see, um, like how much for diapers is like a really big one right you want to know how many or how much it costs for each diaper so right now these are 19 cents per diaper those are 21 cents per diaper the kirkland brand of diapers is a great price point at 15 cents 16 cents for size one diapers so if you're gonna buy diapers here i would go with kirkland brand if they work good on your kids if they don't it's cheaper to buy huggies and pampers and those other brands somewhere else and when it comes to baby wipes, you want to be at one or two cents per wipe. Uh, Kirkland's are two cents per wipe, and the Huggies version is two cents a wipe. So these are both pretty good deals. Apples is another thing I will never buy at Costco because it's usually a lot cheaper at the grocery store. I won't spend more than 99 cents per pound for apples. And here they are always over that price. And every single time I've come, the apples are too expensive. One thing you guys know I love about Costco is their cakes. It's like the best deal ever. It is $18.99 and they serve 34 people. They are amazing. Okay, so I'm breaking out the ad because grapes are $1.28 per pound right now at Smith's. Um, I like it when they get down to 99 cents, but that doesn't always happen. For some reason, grapes are typically expensive. But if you see here at Costco, their grapes are $1.87 per pound drastically different so that's another example of prices that are just too high here so today I typically wouldn't buy blackberries here because they're typically cheaper through Smith's but today they're actually cheaper through Costco um, a six ounce is 250 and this 12 ounce is four dollars and it's organic so this is cheaper than what Smith's has going on this week so that'd be an example of how the ad really helped me to know whether it was a better deal to get my stuff here at Costco or buy it at Smith's. Prices are always gonna change with meat. That's why I like to have the ad with me. So the boneless beef chuck or rump roast is $2.99 a pound at Smith's and it is $3.99 a pound here at Costco. But sometimes that's cheaper at Costco. So again, this is one of the ideas that you have to have an ad to help you know what a good price is or if you should go to a different store to buy some of your meat. And I would be crazy if I didn't mention this. This is the best rotisserie chicken in the world. It's $4.99 for a three pound chicken. It's the best deal out there of any grocery store I've ever seen. So in case you don't get these, it's definitely something to get and to break up and put in different food items or casseroles or things that you're making and have a great meal. So hot dogs started to gross me out when I realized what was in them. So now I only buy Hebrew National or other kosher 100% beef only hot dogs. Um, typically for just one package, it's about five bucks, but you can get four packages for $8.99 here. So this is the deal of the century if you're like me and are picky with your hot dogs. Bread is also another item that's typically a lot cheaper at Costco. Um, I know there's lots of different kinds of bread, so I can't really break it down for you, but our bread has always been cheaper here by far. So we always get our bread here at Costco. Cereal is one of the things that's hit or miss here at Costco. Sometimes it'll be a good deal and sometimes it won't, so you can't just buy it expecting that it'll be a good deal. 
Um, this is 55 ounces of Honey Nut Cheerios. Um, since boxes are typically about 11 ounces, uh, I divide it by that and I end up five boxes. So this is equal to five boxes. And then I take 7.89 and divide it by five and get $1.57 a box. You guys know $1.50 a box or less is typically what I go for, so this would be a deal that our family would grab, especially because going to another store to find a better deal than that would waste my time. Okay, this is the perfect example. I'm so glad I found this. Okay, so this Kirkland applesauce, you know, the pouches that your kids love or whatever, um, you can get 24 of them for $9.99, which is only 13 cents per ounce, which is awesome. But then I come over here, last week they were $10.99 without the manufacturer instant rebate, and they had less packages of applesauce. But they're exactly the same product. So that's why I'm telling you guys sometimes some items will be cheaper depending on whether they have this or not. So things you might buy or not buy will totally change depending on what's happening from week to week or month to month. And don't forget about the gift cards. These gift card offers are awesome from theme parks to restaurants to American Girl doll gift certificates. Just, I mean, there's so many ways to use these gift cards or use them to help buy presents. Nuts are another thing you'll typically want to buy at Costco because they are a ton cheaper than the grocery store. Okay guys, I hope I blew your mind today and helped you realize some things that you might be buying that are too expensive when you go to Costco. Hopefully it'll save you guys some money. That's the whole point of this video. Obviously I couldn't get to everything, so if you guys do like this video and maybe want me to do like a part two, come below and let me know. But I wanted to make sure you guys knew what you should buy, what you shouldn't buy, so you guys can save more money when you go to the grocery store. The grocery store is the easiest bill that you'll have every single month. You can save the most money on if you're smart. And then you can take that money to help pay off bills or pay off debt or start working on that vacation savings fund that I've talked about in my budgeting video. If you haven't seen that, click on the little eye in the corner and it will help you out. But going on vacation, doing fun things with the family and having money to do those things, is super doable if you're smart with your grocery budget and what you buy at the grocery store. So I hope this video helped. All right, I'm gonna go check out so I can hurry and go get my kids from school and I'll talk to you guys next time. Please make sure you give this video a like and if you have any questions or want me to do like a part two of this Costco type of video, comment below and let me know. All right, bye guys. <laughs>